Hey there, it's John with Excel Campus, and in this video, I'm going to share this seating chart planner that I created in Excel. Now, this will be useful if you're planning any kind of event like weddings or conferences. We also have an option here for seating charts for classrooms, and then a few admin pages to help set this up and change some of the properties and layouts of the rows or tables. And the planner will be especially useful if you're limited on space due to distancing guidelines as it optimizes for smaller groups and families. This will allow you to use the least number of tables or rows and also keep everyone in their group sitting together. And in case you're wondering, this here is a spill range that spills out the uh, range for the seats and there's a bubble chart over it for the tables. And here you can just select your name from the list that will show you which table you're at, which seat you're at, and also highlight that over here along with your group members. And this creation is my submission for episode three of Excel Hash. Now, if you haven't seen Excel Hash before, it's a competition between my fellow Microsoft MVPs and YouTubers, where we're given a list of ingredients or Excel features, and we have to create a solution in Excel with these ingredients. Now, I'll put a link in the description below this video to a playlist where you can watch all the other submissions as well. And I highly encourage you to do that as you will learn a ton about these features in Excel. Also like and, and subscribe to those others uh, YouTube channels. And if you're new to our channel, feel free to subscribe, like this video and share it with anyone that would find it useful. So in this video, I'm going to give an overview of how the seating chart planner works and how I incorporated the ingredients. I'm not going to go into detail on all the steps here as I wanna keep the video short. So the first thing here that this uh, starts with is just a list of names. We have the list of names here in this table and some attribute columns with additional information about each of these people that we can use to sort the seating charts. Uh, the first ingredient I'm using is the new custom data types in Power Query. So I've taken that table, created a query, and as you can see in these cells here, we have the new custom data types, which contains all the information from all of those columns in a single cell here. We can see it in this card view. We can extract this data into formulas, and we can also use it in spill ranges. So on this admin chart here, I have the data here for each person in those cards also included in this spill range. The second ingredient I'm using is dynamic array of formulas, and I'm using a lot of them in this model, but specifically the sequence and sort by functions, which are two very powerful functions to help us create these seating arrangements in both this layout and the table layout. And these are fully dynamic. So as we change some of the properties here, maybe we only have six seats per row, uh, that will dynamically change and spill. We can also change uh, which column we sort this by, as well as the sort order here in ascending, descending, or even random order. And the third ingredient I'm using is the even function. And I'm using it here with conditional formatting to shade these alternate rows. So I'll quickly pull up the conditional formatting manager. As you can see in this rule here, I'm using the even function, which rounds up a number to the nearest even number, testing that against the current row number. And if that's true, the row is even, it will return a true and shade the row. If not, it won't shade the row. There's other ways to go about this, but I had to use the even function, and this is one way that you can use it. On this sheet, I'm using ingredient number four, which is the cutout person. Here, uh, Professor Carey is holding a sign and that allows her students to choose their name from a list and then see their seating assignment here. So this is a new cutout person feature and you can find this on the insert tab here under icons. There's these cutout people and there's all different types of uh, people here in different poses as you can see and you can search for these and choose these and add these to your Excel files or your PowerPoint presentations to help bring attention to certain areas. I also use the illustrations here, which is another new feature. There's some great, nice, clean looking illustrations here and you can change the highlight color. And I've used these on this sheet as well as the uh, sheet with the round tables. And finally, I wanna talk about the group optimization feature, which again allows smaller groups or families to sit together and also minimize the number of rows or tables you'll need. So on this admin groups sheet here, we're doing this calculation using the sort by function. And I'm also using the solver add-in to iterate through all the possible combinations of sequences of groups and the number of people in each group. And that's what's happening in this column here. And then it's optimizing or finding the least number of tables or rows that we will need. 
And then over here, we have a spill range, which just shows that. And as you can see, we have some empty uh, seats out here at the end of some of the rows. You can also see that over here where we're spilling out the groups instead of the names. This is using the custom data types and spilling out the group column instead of the name here. And you can see the groups here within each row. And again, we can lay those out in this table view instead of the row view. So that's an overview of the seating chart planner. Like I said, I'll do an additional video that walks through this in more detail. Also check out all the other Excel hash submissions. I'll put a link to that playlist in the description below this video and leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.